For Best Music Coach, my name is Dan, and you are watching a Guitar Teacher's Reaction live and in real time to the Persona 5 original soundtrack, part three. This is disc three from the original soundtrack. Now, I've never heard this music before in my life, so I'll be reacting in real time. Sometimes I'll pause between the songs to let you know what I think and give you a couple little music theory and ear training tidbits along the way. Please click like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you can join this channel to become a member to support the awesome, fun content we are creating here. You can check out our number one best selling music books in the description below, as well as get 50% off your first music lesson at bestmusiccoach.com. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this reaction, what you think about the OST, and of course, what you would like to see next. With no further ado, let's get it rocking and rolling someone in the chat beat me to it already hey chat how's it going we are live let's get this thing going with beneath the mask rain instrumental version Interesting. Thank you. 
Well, that was a really nice start to the stream, a nice warm up, instrumental, chill. I could do with some rain sounds. And this is Break It Down. So very interesting for how quiet that song was. Chat, perhaps you can confirm, is that song playing in the background while dialogue or something else is happening? Because how quiet that song was compared to the other songs leads me to believe to one of two things. Number one, neither it's playing behind dialogue or two, that something, okay, yes, chat is confirming that it, it is in fact playing behind dialogue, which would explain why it is so quiet. Because normally... Uh, you normalize songs to all sound the same. You master them with things like limiters and maximizers and all kinds of fun plugins so that everything is the same loudness. But as Chad has just confirmed, that song plays during a dialogue during the game, which is why it's so quiet. The next one is called So Boring. If I had to guess, I'd say this is another background theme. Chat, can you confirm if dialogue is happening here as well? So Chat has just confirmed that this is another background song, which is why it's so quiet. Okay, so again, very interesting. A lot of times, even when there's background music in some other games we've listened to, they haven't changed the volume on the OST. So I think it's interesting that this OST is taken literally from the game at the volume at which, or the loudness level at which, the songs actually play. The way I would think about it is you would have the song for the background and you would present it at a regular volume and then in the game when you're mixing all the tracks for the game you would just turn it down not so here very interesting artistic and i suppose also commercial decision this next one is called mental shutdown Thank you. 
Hmm. Sweatshop. I love the bass on this song. It was so much fun. I love the way that when we look at music, a lot of times we talk about the notes. And it's not always about the notes. It's also about the space and the silence between the notes. And when you have a bass lick like that where it has that silence between it, it gives that really percussive, really rhythmic feeling. Absolutely love it.
I did prefer the first sweatshop version. That was cool, nice industrial feeling. The next one was called Run Run Run. Wow, so much to love in that song. I especially loved the mix between what sounded like bongos and congas, could be wrong there, in the right ear and left ear. I could be wrong about the congas. There might have been congas in the right ear, and I'm not sure it was in the left ear, or it was bongos in the right ear, congas in the left ear. Anyway, those the interplay between those percussive elements was very interesting, especially when it was panned all the way to the sides like that. And I also love that almost um, that what's that Viking song by Led Zeppelin? I'll remember it later. Uh, Midnight Sun and the Hot Springs, though, that sort of feeling of that gallop that now is all over metal. Very interesting to hear that here. This is next one is called Accident on Air. Immigrant song. Thank you, chat. <laughs> the Viking song. This quiet. I right, hear how much louder this song is. Very interesting. Listen to that bass go.
The Whims of Fate. Oh. Yeah, bass. Well, that was a ton of disco-licious fun. Loved the bass on that. The bass on that was everything. Loved those grooves coming in and out. Vocals by Lynn sounded awesome. This next one is called Escape Another Version. That was a ton of fun. This one's called Getaway. Another version. Oh yeah. Pizzicato strings there. Thank you. 
that was so much fun, including that synth that came in the end there. I love that. I loved it so much. This next one is called Betrayer. Well, that was interesting. The next one was called Nothingness. So very interesting to hear the piano that was in the right ear most of the time here, where it was very high and very bright with a lot of reverb, a little delay on it. Also, that sound we had throughout the whole thing, for my ear, was actually something played backwards. Very interesting piece of music. Not a lot happening in the evolution until the very end, where it sounded to me like either something was taken out, and so the reverb in that piano in the right ear, which is playing the chords, was brought up or increased or yeah I may have just conflated two options together so option one something was taken out so the reverb became more evident option two the reverb was actually increased at the end this next one is clawed trick
<laughs> Love it. So that sound that we just heard, um, bum, um, bum, um, bum, um, bum, that's pizzicato strings. And as a quick reminder, if you haven't heard this information from me before, there's two ways essentially that you play a violin, viola, cello, or uh, upright bass, contra bass, is with a uh, bow, and that's called arco, or you pluck it with your fingers, that's called pizzicato, or pits for short. Right there, we just heard pizzicato. This next one is called limitless pride. Very interesting, almost like a double harmonic or a harmonic minor with a flat two, or we could just call it a Phrygian and then you're actually borrowing the five there. That's how you get the uh, scale degree seven there uh, from the major. Here's arc. A couple of really interesting things happening in this song. Number one is the use of distorted guitar doing more power chord style things during what is essentially another disco-licious type of song where you have these brum ba brum ba things, the octaves with the strings, very disco, drum beat pretty disco and then having this sort of power chord chunky rock guitar in there a very interesting mix also interesting to note it seems that as we're going to disc three we're starting to hit a little bit more complex harmonies outside of the diatonic and typical things that go on with secondary dominance and things like that in this piece we heard a very interesting sharp 11 augmented fourth sharp four uh, type of chord going on with those guitars and then also some other instruments. After what we just heard in the previous song with those flat twos and raised sevenths in that minor key, very, very interesting sounds now being employed here in disc 
three. The next song is called Impromptu for the next Prime Minister. Interesting, beautiful piece. I did love uh, that piano run right at the very end. Blah, 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 blah. Loved that. This next one is, oh, we've heard this one before. This is uh, Get Up, Get Out There. Excuse me, Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There instrumental version. Very interesting. Let's keep it going with this. Ah. Love that little pick scrape there. Maybe not pick scrape. But, hmm. The next one is called Ah uh. Rivers in the Desert.
Oh, love that. Oh, yes. Love it. Interesting. Love it. That was so much fun. I love that instrumental. That was great. The next one is called Desire.
Love it. Yeah, woodlands. Absolutely enjoyed that. A little bit more orchestral. Love the use of those woodwinds. This next one is called Rivers in the Desert. Looks like we'll get some vocals. Love it. So we just heard the instrumental version for this. Come on, kick drum. Drop it now, please go. It's not worth now. Oh. And I've got to make my decision. This time it could be my moment. At this time, I'm a ride, a chance to fulfill my mission. Ow!
love, love, love that song. I love the backing track. All the in the instrumental, the instruments going on in the back. Love it. Love the vocal delivery. Love the melody. Shaw don't bump bump. Shoot it on gum. Shook a dog and bog on. Shook a dog gum gum. Shook a dog gum. Shook a dog and bog on. Love it so much. Awesome. Next one is called The Collapse of Pride. Interesting. Interesting chords there at the end. Super fun song. This next one is called Freedom and Peace. Yeah, bass.
Love the groove on that one. I also love the use of the literal bass drum, not the kick drum, but the bass drum. Very interesting that's shown up a couple times in this disc three. This next song is called Erosion. Very interesting. I love those. It sounded like that. That lick there at the end was being doubled by piano. A second guitar. Very interesting. The next one is called Confrontation. Also known as Confrontation. Love the guitar, love the bass, love the rhythm. That was a fun little ditty, if you will. This next one is called... Yalda Balf.
Okay, so very interesting that that riff in there. So the the sort of chorus, if you will, is in four four, as is the bridge or C section or whatever you want to call it, is also in four four. Now, during the verse part, it seemed to me to be a group of nine. And then alternating the nines with sevens and eights. So it was going like nine, seven, nine, eight, nine, seven, nine, eight. Very interesting to hear that it was most likely time signature with an eight uh, in the denominator because the beat of the song or the pulse of the song, well, beat of the song seems to be here. And then what was happening is it was changing on an and. So it truly was a group, a time signature with an eight under it, and then we go to four four in the chorus. Uh, this one is called Swear to My Bones. We've heard that guitar part before. That is definitely a light motif of some sort. Oh yes, piano. This next one is called Our Beginning. Thank you. 
absolutely love that song. So majestic. Um, a very large feeling, big instrumentation. Loved it. Loved the chord progressions too. A lot of those chord choices. Very interesting. This next one is called Hoshi to Bokura to Piano Version. So we're about to hear a vocal version of this, so I'll save my commentary until after that. Love that little note right at the end. Hoshi to Bokura to Sung by Lin. speak that good Japanese. Someone please put the translation in chat.
Yeah, Lynn. Go for it, girl. Come on. Okay, now what can I say about a literal seven minute song? So we do have everyone who's watching this, check the chat out because we have some awesome people who actually copy pasted the English lyrics in there if you don't speak Japanese very well, which I certainly don't. So a very interesting piece of music. I thought the, you can tell a story is being told. It feels very summary. It feels like a, uh, it feels like an ending. It feels like the music you might play as um, an exit music at the end of a musical or something like that, where it has this feeling of finality to it, but also feeling content having lived through a story. I think what was very interesting is at the end, Lynn started to do some ad libs, which we hadn't heard her do previously on this OST for one, two, and three. We did hear her do some scat, but I think that scat was along with the melody. So we actually heard her open up and do some improvisation there at the end. Now we have one more song to listen to, Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There, which I think is the opening credits version or opening something version. I can't quite see there's an ellipses there. I'll be able to tell you all in just a second. Opening movie version, excuse me. Love it. We we end like we started with Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There. What a wild ride it has been doing this three-part reaction to the Persona 5 original soundtrack. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, chat, for coming along with the ride, for helping me out, fact-checking me along the way. Love it. Could not do it without you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Please click like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next stream is going to happen. You can also join this channel and become a member, support what we're doing here. You can check out our number one best-selling books in the description below, as well as 50% off your first music lesson. Now, chat, one more question to answer. They want to know what my favorite songs were. But before we get there, everyone, please let me know in the comments what you thought about this reaction, what you thought about the soundtrack, and of course, what you would like to see me react to next. I think some of my favorites were definitely uh, the River in the Desert. Was it River in the Desert? Stream in the Desert? I don't quite recall. Rivers in the Desert. And then I also really liked Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There. I honestly really liked the Rivers in the Desert instrumental. That was a lot of fun. Also loved it with Lynn in there rocking and rolling like a boss. This has been the reaction. I will see you guys sometime soon. 
probably next week. Y'all have a nice one, and I'll see you soon.